Hey everyone, and welcome back. So we are gonna get into actually animating this a bit more, you know, applying things like uh, physics to it. One thing I just wanna stress is when you're working with animations like this, they are time consuming. I mean, you can spend hours and hours perfecting these types of things, and you need to really gauge whether that's worth it for you. This like may not be worth it for a version one of your product, but it's really cool once you actually have something like this. So be very mindful of your time in relation to what you're doing. Like you can create crazy quick animations doing something like this. You can go ahead and create some very simple animations that don't take much time. Like if you wanna show like a slider or like a loader, like you can easily show like a loader going from zero to 100%, uh, creating something like in fig motion. And it wouldn't take you that much time in comparison to like making like pouncing balls and other more complex uh, animations. So just keep that in mind when you are trying to figure out what you want to build uh, in terms of an animation and uh, just take into account the time that's going to take. You don't want to go down that rabbit hole and uh, not actually deliver anything. Let's jump right in. So I have my uh, notification bubble over here selected. I'm gonna go into Fig Motion. There it is. So I think we have some pretty good timing right now. So it's gonna jump up and down. Now what we can do is we can keep on like, we can make this animation a bit shorter now. Let's just see how that looks. Start from zero. I like it. Okay, and then when it comes back down, it's gonna just stop at like nine. Let's just drag that over. So that pause at the top was a little awkward. Okay, we can even bring in that drop just a bit more. Okay, so we have our basic drop here. Now what I wanna do is we're gonna have to uh, work with like just width and height as well. Best way to do this. So if we were to start at say like one, and before we get there with our width, maybe we'll So let's see what that looks like. So we probably, so 17 is our normal width. Okay. So we can, this is my only gripe with uh, fig motion is like I can drag multiple keyframes and it's such a pain to actually get that to work properly. So this can be at 17 and uh, this will not be a linear. We'll just do ease in and out. Uh, let's see what happens. So it's gonna boom. So I wanted to, let me see what it's gonna look. So it's gonna go to 17. So this is obviously like you just need to figure out what's going to work for you. Okay, so. Our height needs to be different as well. We will drop down to 15. I think that's fine. So 15. And then when it's going up, we are going to hit another keyframe here. So I'm just gonna show you how to get this started. So uh, for our height, we are probably going to, so it was at 17, now we can kind of just we can go to like maybe 18. So it's like a gradual thing. So boom, you see how that starts to come together? 
Boom. So I squish. So that squish is a little too much over there. So squish. And really, that's where we're going to start seeing some more change. So we can bring things in a little bit more. And that looks pretty nice. And like right when we get to that top, what we want to do is actually, so let me just uh, change that. And what we want to do is when we get to this top portion, we want our width and our, um, our height to just return back to normal. So we're at 17 here. I think we were at 17 here as well. So that's good. We can actually drag that. That's just going to stay there. We want our height to go back to normal. So we're going to go back to 17. We want to make that ease in and out. So we're going to be like, boom, and then drop. And when we drop, that's when we, we go back to squishing it a bit. So look at that. That looks actually really cool. So um, let's go ahead and do that again. So when we get to the top, what we're going to do. So that's when the drop happens right there. So I'm just going to set this keyframe over here. I'm going to set this height keyframe. So it's just going to persist at 17 across these blue lines. So the ball is staying normal. Now what's going to happen is, so actually let's just put it over around here. So it matches when that drop is going to start happening. And then we can start uh, messing with the height. Now the height is going to stretch again. So it's gonna. And when it hits there, it's gonna shrink. So let's do it an ease in and out. Sorry. This is where it should probably be. So do you see how it gradually picks up speed from the top as it's uh, going downward? So it's picking up speed. We can even like, if we wanted to, we can even make it skinnier. Uh, let's do uh, ease in and out. Beautiful. So it's going to shrink. And then when it gets to there, it's going to be kind of instantaneous. You know, at the top, when we got to the top, we like gradually got from like something that was more skinnier to something that was much more normal over here. So what do we get? We went from 17. What do we have over here? So we were at 18 in height. Like we could have even went 19 in height. So let's take a look. Perfect. So when we're at there, we can just go to the top. And once we hit that bottom, I want to start to actually, I just want to actually, so I'm just going to boom, boom. So those are going to stay stagnant and we're going to hit that bottom really hard. And let's see what it looks like. So we're going to go back to 17. 17. We can do it ease in and out just so it's a little smoother. And let's see what that looks like. So one thing you're noticing that is missing is when we do get here, our width should actually be like 15. Oh, no, sorry. Our width shouldn't be 15. Our width should be something like um, 19. Oh. So it's squished and the height should be something like, I don't know, 15.
So this is just basically kind of getting you started. You can tell that I'm gonna leave this animation for everyone. And uh, you can just see that jump. Let's see, squish, up, losing momentum, and everything going back to normal. Hold briefly, then everything gaining momentum and then spiraling downwards really quickly much more faster than it went upwards. And when it hits the ground, squish. So you can just kind of copy this and gradually go lower. You don't have to. What you can do now is you can just kind of hold this and kind of loop a GIF together. What I would do next is you can either export it as CSS or a JSON file. What I usually do is I go and I click render and you can choose whatever format. You can choose GIF, and the frame rate and enable the loop and you can set any transparency color if you want. If I have my frame with no transparency and then once you render it, it will actually take some time to render in the background. There's a little percentage and it'll give you an actual link where you can go and download it. So that's it for how to use fig motion. I mean, you can make some really awesome animations as you can see, here's our render just playing out really nicely and once you get that GIF, all you have to do is drag and drop that right into your file and you have a GIF that you can use. Put it inside a frame and you can use it as an overlay if you need to for like cart and uh, anything else. So that's how you make an easy animation within Figmotion.